Parker Eekman wants to know how many Halloween steel books I own. Well, I've got a whole Halloween section over here. This is probably going to take a while. Here are all the Halloween steel books I own stacked up. There are eight of them. They all look gorgeous. Let's start with the OG though. Here's the OG Halloween from 78. It comes with the slipcover from Lionsgate. Gorgeous looking release. Let's slip that slipcover off though. Hi. Because once you take it off, you get a look at its gorgeousness all in one flowing art piece. I love this release so much. There are just leaves in the background going with that aesthetic with the Blu-ray and 4K housed in here nicely. But before the 4K came out, I came across this release from the UK, I think, and it is absolutely gorgeous. The original poster artwork on there, the nice embossing that UK knows how to do best, embossing and debossing, the debossing in the middle, the embossing on the letters. This sucker just looks so good. We flip it over and we have a nice iconic scene. Michael Myers trying to get in the closet. The inside is pretty plain. It just has a black background. Here's the Blu-ray. It comes with the book, though. And the book is actually a really solid read. I don't really read these books when they come with the movies, but this one has a very nice making of segment. It's lengthy, too. Now let's go to the Scream Factory sequel steel books. Here is Halloween 2, my favorite of the sequels. I love how much of a slasher this is in a hospital. A great setting. This steel book is phenomenal. Love the image. It comes with two cuts of the film, the theatrical and the TV cut, which is always nice to see. And then there's always a quote on these Scream Factory releases. You don't know what death is. Now let's look at Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Again, awesome artwork with the silver shamrock kids and the masks watching the TV. This image is also fantastic. Ooh. Here's Tom Atkins being all heroic and shit in the quote. Watch the magic pumpkin, watch! Now let's go to the zombie remake. You know, the Halloween movie no one really talks about all that often. The Steelbook looks cool. I love the artwork on the back here. And if you like or don't like this movie, there is an awesome four and a half hour documentary on that second disc that just shows the ins and outs of making a movie. It's really cool stuff. But now let's go to the 2018 sequel, Halloween. Love the artwork on this and the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern is looking cool too. And on the inside, we got Laurie Strode protecting his house. And I like this movie, so I decided to pick up the 4K Steelbook too. There's artwork by Todd McFarlane. Looking pretty good, especially if you zoom into it real close. There's actually artwork on the 4K disc this time around. Now we have an epic stare down in the inside. But then I was able to find this Titans of Cult 4K Steelbook for Halloween for a cheap price, so I picked it up too. Let's open it up. First off, it comes housed with two fantastic looking pins. I gotta add those to the collection. Before the Steelbook, I love the art style they decided to go with. Uh, Michael Myers didn't start the fire, but he's burning in it. Then we have some very minimalistic artwork on the discs. And a very cool shot for the inside as well. I don't know if you can see this, but it's been a year since I posted that video, and I have two more Steelbooks to show you. Let's look at them. The first one is for Halloween Kills, and I gotta say, the Steelbook is looking mighty nice. I love the red on here. On the inside, you got the two discs, and you also have Laurie Strode ready to stay in the hospital for the whole movie. Next up, we have Halloween Ends, and I gotta say, whenever there is embossing or debossing put on a Steelbook, it just adds to the release so much. We got Laurie Strode in the back here. I really like the orange and black pops. Here's what the disc artwork looks like. And here's the inside of Lori Strode giving a whack at Michael Myers. Oh, and I forgot. There's one more I added to the collection this year as well. Halloween H2O, 20 years later, the 25th anniversary on 4K. I think this steelbook is absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite releases of the year so far, for sure. It is kind of a bold choice, just putting the 4K disc in here, no Blu-ray, but I gotta say, I'm not super mad at it either. Just a little disappointed. And you know what? While I'm at it, I might as well show off my Halloween VHS tapes as well. We've got the original Halloween in full frame, don't you know? Restored collector's edition. Collecting for who? Full frame sucks. And one thing I love about this VHS is that it actually came with special features. Didn't happen often in the VHS era, but when it did, you felt so, so lucky. Next up, I have another edition of Halloween, but this time it's presented by Blockbuster. Look at that. If it focuses, there we go. And it has my favorite scene in the entire franchise right there. Next up, we have my favorite sequel of the bunch, Halloween 2. That jack-o'-lantern is awesome. The jack-o'-lantern in the intro is awesome as well. Then here is Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. And I have to say, I do have to rewatch this. The first time I saw it, I was not liking it. I just wanted more Michael Myers in my life, but I do need to give this a second shot. 
And finally, trick or treat, motherfuckers. I have Halloween Resurrection. Um, this movie's not good. It's got a hell of a concept, though, and uh, I'm never not mad at watching it.